Are you a mortgage broker or lender looking to find better ways to build relationships with local real estate agents? What better way than to learn from one of the top real estate agents in the country? Keep watching. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So this channel is dedicated to entrepreneurs, mostly real estate agents, but today I wanna to help out the lenders and mortgage brokers out there because I see a lot of lenders and mortgage brokers out there trying to figure out how to build their business. And there's not a lot of content around helping mortgage brokers build their business. So I wanted to do this video and give you my perspective as a real estate agent that gets hounded by lenders and brokers all day, every day. I want to give you some scripts on what to say when you call real estate agents. I want to tell you how I think you should follow up with these agents. And also I'm going to share something with you that you can give them as an item of value. Before we get into that, let's talk about the differences in real estate agents versus a mortgage broker or a lender and the way they operate. Okay. Cause I find this very, very interesting. Okay. Real estate agents go after prospects as in property owners, buyers, sellers, people that may buy or sell properties. Okay, that's their primary focus are those people. Okay, that's their database. You know, they're trying to create relationships with these people so that they can help them when they decide to buy or sell. Mortgage brokers do the same thing, okay, but there's also a piece of their business that's focused around a database of actual real estate agents, okay, because real estate agents refer their clients to mortgage brokers, but not really the other way around. Mortgage brokers don't really refer their clients to real estate agents. Why? Well, it's very interesting. Real estate agents need the mortgage broker. Their clients need the mortgage broker or lender to help their clients get the loan they need to buy the properties they need to buy, okay? Mortgage brokers can't really refer any clients to real estate agents because they probably have three, four, five, 10, 20 agents that send them referrals and the mortgage broker feels like if they refer a client to any one of those agents, that all the other agents are gonna get mad and quit sending them referrals. So they can't really send referrals to real estate agents. So it doesn't go both ways. The real estate agent is okay with this because like I said, they need the mortgage broker. And I think as a real estate agent, and this will help you mortgage brokers and lenders, the, the object is, is when you're new, to try different mortgage brokers and lenders in your area until you find the one that fits with you, the one that operates the way that you want them to operate, the one that handles your clients the way you would handle your clients, so on and so forth. And sometimes it'll take you a couple mortgage brokers to get to the one that you really like, and when you find that mortgage broker or lender, you're gonna hang on to them or her, you're gonna stay with them from the ends of time. So I think it's a really cool and interesting dynamic between real estate agents and mortgage brokers and the way the whole thing works. With that being said, with mortgage brokers and lenders, real estate agents are almost one of their primary targets. It's where most of their business is gonna come from. There's, I know lenders that only focus on farming okay prospecting real estate agents okay that's where they get their business that's where they live that's what they do they they call they cold call they follow up they email they do all the marketing stuff to real estate agents so that the real estate agents will refer them business and that's why i wanted to do this video because i see a lot of them struggling because a lot of them come to me right and it's almost like they're kind of begging Okay, and that's the wrong strategy. And I thought, I need to do a video to address this so I can help mortgage brokers all over the world understand how they need to approach real estate agents and, and the little things that they can do to build those relationships and get that business. So this video is gonna be focused around how a lender can approach a real estate agent to get business, not how a lender can approach general public, right? And the actual buyers and sellers in the general market, okay, I'll do another video on that coming soon. For now, I wanna focus on real estate agents for you guys. 
Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is hit that like button as hard as you can if you're finding any value up to this point. And shoot me a comment, just let me know you're here. Now let's talk about reaching out to real estate agents. Just cold, all right, you've never talked to any of these real estate agents before. Okay, how do we approach them? What do we do? What's the process? Okay, so first off, real estate agents are really easy to find. Okay, their phone numbers are everywhere. They're on every sign in town and they're on every advertisement. You know, Google them, they have a website, their phone numbers are everywhere. So it's not hard to find the phone numbers for real estate agents. You might even be able to look them all up in your MLS. Uh, a lot of brokers, a lot of mortgage brokers have access to the local MLS. That's a great place to go. You've got access to everybody. So we have the numbers and we're literally just gonna start calling them one after another. Okay, we're just gonna start cold calling these agents, seeing what in the world we can do to help them. Okay, so we got the numbers right in front of us. We've time blocked a schedule to cold call these agents. Boom, the phone starts ringing, they pick up. Hey Ricky, this is Joe down at Whatever Mortgage. How you doing today? Good, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Cool, look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but I'm doing loans in the area, doing house loans. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you, okay? So we're gonna to get to that point right there. All right, this is a very natural, this is a very low pressure, non-salesy. Um, if you do it right, it is a script, okay? But if you do it right, if you do it the way I teach my real estate agents to do their phone calls, it's gonna sound natural, okay? If you tweak it for your own personality, all right? If you relax, if you breathe, if you treat them like family, okay? I call it FE, friend or family effect. It's where you treat the person on your phone, uh, when you're talking to them on the phone, like they're family. Like they're your mom, your dad, your cousin, your best friend, okay? You wanna emulate the same conversation where your mom is comfortable with you when you're talking to them, you're comfortable with her, okay? You're both really comfortable right there. That's the same way you need to be when you're calling these agents. So we're gonna get to that point of the call, all right? And we're just gonna let the conversation kinda go from there. All right, um, they may say, no, we don't need anything right now. Or they may say, I have a lender that I work with. Or they may say, yeah, tell me more about the, pro the programs or the different um, products that you have for your, for your clients. We're just gonna go with the flow of the conversation right here. The key to all of this and the key to sales in general is to get the conversation going right? Get the conversation going. And that's what we've accomplished with this first part of the script. We've got the conversation going. We just want to get in the conversation. Now, I don't know where the conversation is going to go from there, but let's just say the most obvious response is going to be, no, I don't need anything right now. Okay. You're immediately as fast as you can. You're going to say, oh, great. Is there a mortgage broker down here that you work with? Or is there a mortgage broker in the area? There's a mortgage broker in this market or however you want to say it. Is there a mortgage broker that you work with? Okay, is there a mortgage broker that you refer clients to? Okay, you want to find out what's going on there because at this point, we've had this great beginning of the conversation, but we don't really have a lot of information as far as what's going on with them, you know, so on and so forth. Um, a few other questions that you can add in there is how long you've been selling, how long you've been in real estate, right? And start to get a little background about this agent, right? You know, how many deals are you doing? How many listings do you have? Things like that will give you information to kind of figure out where they are in the, in the whole, you know, career building process. And it will allow you the opportunity to figure out how you can help them as a mortgage broker, as a lender. Okay, so like I said, we just wanna get into these conversations. Okay, if they have a mortgage broker that they use, just say, look, I know that guy or girl, you're in really good hands. If there's ever anything I can do for you, please let me know, you have a good rest of the day. Boom, no harm, no foul. Okay, now what do we do there? We establish that they have a relationship in place, but now they know who we are. Okay, and we could be their second pick, you know, we could be their plan B if something doesn't work out. And that's something you could say to them, you know, if something doesn't work out, you know, if there's ever any loans that that, that lender can't get done, give me a shot, something like that, right? And you might wanna let them know, hey, I'll stay in touch with you via email, okay? That's the next thing, you're gonna get all the emails of all the agents in your area, okay? And you're gonna start sending a weekly email to these agents. Okay, if you wanna use constant contact to send your weekly email, which is what I use, there's a link in the description to start a free trial with them. 
Okay, you just plug all the emails in there. You can even use the same template that I use for my real estate clients and tweak it for mortgage and go to town. In this weekly email, you can keep them up with the rates. You can maybe tell, another thing I, I would like to say is maybe um, talk about some testimonials and some success stories um, from some of your, your past experiences with clients and deals that were really tough, but you made it come together and everybody was really happy. Things like that are very interesting. You know, tell stories. People wanna hear real life stories. The weekly email is gonna build your brand, okay, over time. You may get business today from it, next week, next month, but where the real magic is gonna happen is within a year, within two years, within three years, you're gonna have built this brand and this name so big, everybody's gonna know who you are. And you also need to be doing this weekly email to all of your existing and current and future clients. Everybody that you have emails from, you need to put them in a database and create this weekly email that goes out every single week on the same day of the week forever. I've been doing mine for over 12 years now, and I'm telling you, it's the secret to my success. Another thing you can do if they don't have a mortgage broker or lender relationship in place is you can kind of go down that road with them a little bit all right, and say, look, I'd love to help you. You know, when the time comes, would you be free for lunch sometime? You know, or coffee, right? Maybe, maybe that's a good point to ask them to lunch or coffee, maybe to just put a face with the name. What I don't want you to do is to start spitting out all the different products that you have and that you can offer, okay? And the rates and you know, no origination points and all the different things that you can do that you think separates you from the rest of the pack. I don't want you to talk about any of that stuff because that's not what it's all about. Okay, there's a lot of great programs out there and products for clients, all right? Everybody has one, right? The, the main focus needs to be on the relationship, that they like your personality, that they don't feel like you're trying to push them, that they don't feel like you're trying to bug them, um, so on and so forth. You need to enter every single situation like you don't need the business, that you don't care if you get the business. Why? Because you really don't. Okay, that's why you're acting like it because you're actually it's real. You actually don't need the business. You actually don't care if you get the business. You're just here to help. And through being that way is what's gonna attract so many people to you. I'll tell you like I tell my real estate uh, coaching students, and it's something that I learned through the market crash and I live by it, and it's a real peace of mind because it's facts, and that is that business is unlimited. You can't do all the deals that are available to just you. All the loans are available for you to close, you can't close them all. You can't get to all of them. Why? Because it's such a process. Each deal is such a process to find the people, help them, to create the relationship, you know, go through the deal, the whole nine yards. There's too much. You can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the rest of your life and never even scratch the surface for what's available to you out there. So go into each deal knowing that you can just turn right around. You're gonna have unlimited opportunities if you want it, if you put the work in to contact enough people and put your, put your name out there, stir the pot, get out there, do the marketing, do what you're supposed to do, you're gonna have plenty of business. So through having so much business coming in, you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some, don't care if you get it, just be there to help and more people will, will want to work with you. Focus more on the personal stuff. How long they've been in the business? How many listings? You know, how can you help them? Do they have a relationship in place? So on and so forth. And let me give you an item of value to give these agents. And I think this is something that's really gonna help you. <laughs> it's actually my coaching business, okay? It's my free, 100% free real estate coaching program. I'm the first completely free coach. You probably haven't heard of me yet but it's because I'm focused more on real estate agents, but now I'm wanting to help lenders and mortgage brokers as well because I see such a need, and it's still in the real estate industry, okay? My entire goal is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry, one agent at a time. There's over 17,000 agents in my program so far and growing every day. I have a 90-day action plan. Um, we do live training twice a month. There's an online course, and they have full access to me, okay? They reach out. I reach back, I answer questions, DMs on Instagram, I answer every single DM on Instagram. So if you offer and say, look, you should watch Ricky on YouTube, you should follow Ricky on Instagram, you should join his free coaching program, okay? I have scripts, I have videos of me doing live calls, I have my entire email strategy, um, my social media strategy, everything is right there for them, black and white, totally free. 
okay? And they're gonna thank you so much after they are exposed to my content it's gonna be another reason why they want to work with you because you're offering something of value to them without asking anything in return and it's all free. And I've already had many lenders and mortgage brokers do this all across the world. Um, there's been a couple of lenders and mortgage brokers that have stumbled across my content and they've shared it with agents in their market and it's actually gotten them business and they've reached out to me and told me about this and I thought it was really cool and it was a long time ago. I've had them periodically here and there tell me this and then I thought, you know, what if I shared this with lenders and mortgage brokers and actually did a video explaining how they should approach real estate agents, what they should do, how they should follow up, um, and that they can share my program and it'll all help them build a better business and, and have a better peace of mind that you don't have to close every single deal. I think that's the biggest problem. Everybody's trying to close every deal, right? And you're not gonna close every deal. But if you don't try to close the deal, you'll close more deals. So I hope this video got through to you. I hope it helps you be a better mortgage broker and lender. Um, I want you to get out there and crush it. Use some of this stuff. DM me on Instagram and let me know how it's going. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. Let's go.